Okay, this video is about site links, and um, this is my first video tutorial on site links, so bear with me. There's a lot of theories and methods out there. There's nothing that's 100% uh, foolproof, so we're going to go over that and, and see how you could get uh, uh, a good chance to have a good site link structure. Site links are, uh, you've typed, uh, like we'll type in the name of my website, a1websitepro.com, hit search, and you'll see that I have <coughs> site links here below my URL. So uh, I want to get rid of this site link right here, why every band should have a website, because, you know, that's just something that I don't want in, in my site links. It's not uh, the, my main clientele or anything like that. So I'll show you how to get rid of a site link like that. Uh, and also, how the site links are generated they're generated automatically by Google and we want to be able to uh, have somewhat a, a little bit of control so I'm going to show you how if you have a good uh, URL um, structure within your website then you have a chance at having a pretty good uh, relevant site links so I'm doing this for my favorite artist and uh, client Jeremy Penn and he has what we see here some little site links below there and he wants something more like uh, his buddy Borbe how they have he has a site links like this so what we want to do is we want to look at his website this Borbe and you can see he has a site link here called painting gallery but whenever we go to his website he just has a little thing called gallery so how does Google get painting gallery out of that well, they actually look at the URL. If you right-click, I'm in Chrome here, and click Inspect Element. And if you look down here, you see the name of the URL is Painting Gallery, the title's Gallery, and the name of the link is Gallery. So um, Google's going to go by the URL, okay, so far. Now, there's ways to change that with uh, alt tags, but we could cover that later. But if he would have had just Gallery, in that URL structure, this would just show up as gallery. So well, some of the things that we're going to talk about here, uh, search engine ranking and a keyword relevance, the age and trust of the domain, and a good link structure. So let me put this up here so you can see what we're going to be talking about. So number one, the relevance of keywords, the age of the domain, and the trust of the domain, and a good link structure. Now, site links only show up on, at the top of the search result. Uh, this means that you're going to have to have a number, uh, you're going to have to be number one for that search term. So, uh, in order for it to show up on your site link, like when people are linking to your website, you want them to link to the, to the, to the URLs that are most important to you. And, so and it's going to be most important to the ones that are searching your website so if we have uh, what links on other websites um, going to the URLs those are the URLs that are going to be indexed the most here it's the pages that are visited the most that actually get site links uh, from you know forum websites Facebook Craigslist YouTube and others that are linking back to your site or your friends it's also relevant that uh, websites that have been around a while, you know, for uh, two years or more, that are, or that are registered in two years in advance, that's why I recommend always to get your website URL for at least for two years so that whenever the algorithms in Google come, or Google comes crawling your site, it shows that this domain has been around a while and it's going to be around a while longer. So that's going to be uh, uh, a very important role in your site links and your PR which PR stands for page, page rank so remember the the pages that are visited the most are the ones that are going to be included in your site link another thing that you want to keep in mind is you want your site links to be uh, to the point and let's let me show you what I mean by that they should read something like like this let me show you 
See how this site link would just be news, reviews, how to, forum, Q and A, and rather than having click here for news or visit this link to read reviews, like you don't want a lot of uh, words in your in in your links there. You just want you want to be simple, straight to the point, and that's that's another good way to have uh, a good site link structure uh, for when Google comes to index your site so they're not putting a bunch of words up here like this. And finally, uh, a good you, you should have uh, site links to your um, on your website. Then that way when Google comes and they, they spider, they see the site links, that also will help you or when they see the site map actually, not the site link, the site map. A site map looks like this. Let me show you. This is one that's generated in the Yoast plugin for WordPress. But if you click on one of these, you can see that uh, the, the site maps are all generated. And we see here what the priority is, how many images are, the, the frequency that you want it spidered, and the, and the last time that it was modified. So these are all very good practices to show Google what URLs that you think that are important. Now, <clears throat> let's say that there's a URL, and there's a URL here that I want to demote, why every band should have a website. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy this link address, and I'm going to log into my Webmaster Tools under A1 Website Pro. I'm going to go over here to configuration and site links. Okay, now you'll notice here I want to demote this URL, so I'm going to paste it here. Well, actually, I grabbed the uh, the Google, so you got to make sure that you don't you don't do that. So you actually want to go to the website to that URL and let it appear up here, and you want to copy that URL. Go back to your Webmaster Tools, paste it in there. And then I want to demote that site link. And then you'll see that I have a, a site link here that I demoted. And I don't want it to appear there anymore. Now this will take some time. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. Now the other thing too is whenever you're at a website <coughs> and notice this portfolios. Whenever I click on portfolios it takes me nowhere. So Google's not going to come here because why? Well, there's no content on that page. It's just a little pound sign. You'll notice, let me take that pound sign away. Just go to jimraypen.com and I click on portfolios. It just shows me a pound sign, which means this link goes nowhere. So Google's probably going to index this 2012, 2011, and 2010. It'll also index this as the blog. Probably a better name for the blog would be just blog. Uh, keep it simple and straight to the point. So I hope this has been a good tutorial to show you a little bit about site links and how they work.